Graham, you know, walk us through the you know the layers of automation because there's a lot more to it than just saying automation. Yeah, there is, and this is where I get really excited. So forgive, uh, forgive my sort of excited face. It's true. Um, it's 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 really moved on. I, and people talk about AI and, and and how it's used in business, and and this is where it's getting really really good. So there are three layers. Layer one we've already talked about really, and this is the intent gathering piece. Mark mentioned that earlier on. We sort of expanded on that. This is where a conversation will be sent out and we started sorry the customer will come back and by reading what the customer said the full sentence or sentences the intent gatherer ai says okay what are they actually telling me what what is the intent of that do they want to do this do they want to do that can't they do this can't they do that really important because that's where you then say okay they want to make a payment take them down the payment route that's where it says oh they can't make the payment change the circumstances take them down a income and expenditure route or whatever it may be that you use so that intent is only layer one though it gets a lot more exciting than that so i mean that just sort of explains what i've just said you know that what are the chances of this happen whatever so the entity piece is number two really and this is where things have really moved on and has not been possible up until probably about a year ago to do in fact so we're saying okay ask me a question a response comes back the customer has said something like I'm really sorry, uh, I missed my payment, but you know, uh, I've sort of had a few hours cut from my day, uh, my job's on the edge, I don't know what to do, Christmas is coming, whatever it may be, but you know, maybe I could pay you £30 uh, next Wednesday, I get paid again next Wednesday, maybe I'll, I'll probably give you £30 next Wednesday. Now there's an intent there, the intent is can't pay, but uh, looking to pay maybe part payment, that's an intent. But there are entities in there. Lots of things were said. They said things like, ah, you know, um, I've lost my job or my hours have been cut or whatever. So worth capturing and remembering that. That's a key bit of information. And then you look at the second part of that and they said, well, they've actually offered 30 pounds. They made an offer. It said 30 pounds. So I can now break that 30 pounds away and store that against the customer's conversation. Say, ah, there's an offer here of 30 pounds. And they said they can pay it next Wednesday. OK, when's next Wednesday? Next Wednesday will be the, blah, 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 the 4th of, of December, whatever. So I can now use that separate information away from just the intent. So the intent could maybe guide them down to take a payment or send them to an agent or whatever. And now it's saying, OK, part payment possible, but not till next Wednesday. Let's remember that. And that could be used then to make other decisions on either by AI automation or by the agents themselves. And the last piece, layer three, is the reading between the lines, what we call the propensity engine. So, again, that statement comes back. I know the intent. I know the data within that statement that may be really usable and I can make decisions on. But is there anything else I'm picking up here? Have they changed the way they say something? Is it more verbose? Is it shorter? Are they changing the words they're using? And propensity really can be trained to do whatever it is you as a business wants to do. So we, have, we call it a studio because it, it's open to do that. Today, it's tuned and, and, and works with the collection industry, uh, yourselves really. So we've trained it to look at things like, you know, will they pay? What's the stickiness of that payment happening, of that of that promise, as it were? Uh, the main one being, are there any vulnerabilities in there? So it's looking for health vulnerabilities. It's looking for language vulnerabilities, all of those things. So we're saying, OK, they can't make a payment, but they've made an offer. So it's part payment, £30. Blah, blah, but actually, by reading what they've said, the way they've said it, the way the conversation's changed from last time, I can see a vulnerability here. They're making a promise to just make themselves feel good or they want to tell us what we need to hear. And the system will understand that and it will highlight that and then change the conversation accordingly. So, you know, someone says, hey, I promise I'll pay you the £30 next Friday. But the engine working like a, a human brain will work and go, mm, well, they said that, but they mentioned the obvious ones as well. I'm in hospital at the moment or my partner's ill. Well, all those things we know means generally a payment doesn't go through. But there are a thousand little nuances in conversation that does that. So, you know, it, again, it looks at all those things and makes the best decision and guides it the right way.